Over to you. I love it. Okay, thanks, Roxy. Well, Julia Yarborough is no stranger to us here at NBC6, and now she's actually taking her talents global for a great cause. She's with me today to talk about empowering women, improving lives in Kenya, Africa. I mean, we're talking clean water. We're talking power. What is this project? Well, Sherry, thank you for having me and my South Florida family. Thank you for having me back in town. Uh, this project is the Habahut Water Kiosk Solution. It's an amazing company based in Bozeman, Montana, that basically is taking a whole nother look at social entrepreneurship. They are taking corporate social responsibility to a whole new level, basically saying we can s serve a need to help people in emerging markets at the bottom of the pyramid and lift them up. In fact, we have some video that just came in from Kenya yesterday. My team is already on the ground in Nairobi, Kenya. And basically what the Habahut does is it brings together the issue of providing clean, safe water and power to residents who don't have those things. We take clean water for granted. We open up our tap, we have water. We have cell phones, we plug them into the wall, we have power. But when you're in these emerging nations, you don't always have that. So the issue becomes you have women and children typically are the ones having to spend many hours gathering clean water to bring back to their families. They don't have a chance to go to school. It's not safe all the time. They have cell phones, which is becoming the predominant way of communication in emerging markets. 500 million cell phone users around the globe, but many of those people are not on a power grid. So how do you charge those phones? What the Habahut does, it's a lightweight, portable structure okay. that originally started for shelter. But then the company realized that they could add in a thin PV solar panel and also a water filtration system engineered by GE so now the Habahut is becoming a link between power and water to be able to create sustainable business opportunities for residents who have access to the Habahut. Now, I mean, tell me about this. You've brought like right. a tiny little component of the whole right. project with you today. Now, this is a water backpack provided by the, our company Greif, which is also part of the Habahut team. So basically, once the water is filtered, now you have clean water, water goes into these pouches, and instead of carrying small amounts of water, say in a ruckety bucket, or in a bag, typically the women or the men can now have clean water. This just goes on your back, it's a little backpack. And then you have this little nozzle and water can come out. Oh my so goodness. you have clean, safe drinking water for your family. All of this because these businessmen in Bozeman, Montana saw a need and said, we can help, we can change the world, we can change lives by putting our skills and talents to use and teaming with a Kenyan architect on the ground who says, I want to make sure that I improve the lives for my people. Now, what's the goal? Because you're actually flying out this weekend. You're going to join them on the yes, ground. So what yes. is the overall goal? The overall goal is to take this pilot project, prove that it works, prove that you have a sustainable business model to help people with clean water and light p solar power, to then be able to roll this out to areas across Africa and emerging markets where there is a need and eventually into other countries as well where if you can help the people at the bottom of the pyramid and you give them sustainable business opportunities they can then help their communities and everybody wins. Now uh, give me some information then so people at home that are interested where can they go for some more information? Check out our website www.thehabahut.com Okay. And if you'd like more information, you can contact me at info at juliayarbomediagroup.com, and I'm happy to fill you in. It is a phenomenal project that really changes. It has the potential to change lives the world over. Well, and to see someone like you so excited about a, a purpose like this is as well just very um, amazing to witness. I think that we can't wait to see where it so, goes. I am honored to be part of it, and I'll report back when I get back from Nairobi. We're going to hold you to that. <laughs> All right. You, Thanks so much for coming by. All right, Roxy, over to you.